So now we have our basic uh, shape. Now we want to place um, cutting points uh, because um, I won't show you. Uh, it's uh, it's probably uh, not too hard to do, but it's a little bit more complicated to do for any kind of uh, line. For now, I will just show you. Um, to cut from uh, vertices to vertices and to uh, vertices to midpoints and midpoints to midpoints uh, I think it should be uh, enough so, be, so we want to have our um, where um, we want to set our cutting lines to set our cutting lines we want to um, have a place where to uh, to draw the line. To put it simply, oh, I avoid saying basically. Uh, to put it simply, I will just do what I did um, some minutes ago. I will place vertices. So it's a polygon dot vertex count. The polygon add the vertex uh, polygon dot vertex x, uh, let's see uh, loop index copy paste and y here okay uh, polygon vertex count I did something totally useless. What I want is creating a vertex. No, here create object vertex polygon vertex x. Okay, and uh, I want to destroy the first vertex here. On start of layout, uh, okay, here is good enough, and I will increase the radius. It was a little tiny. Okay, working. I will as well. Will I? <laughs> yes, I think I will add a drag and drop just to be able to uh, to move the, the the pieces around. I hope the behavior here will be enough. Uh, but here, of course, you have to replace each time the vertices. So while dragging, uh, polygon is dragging. Oh. I will set vertices position. I won't go in too far into explaining well why this will work. I hope you will understand this. I will set them according to the instance ID of the vertex. And it will work. Okay. So we have we have vertices following. And now to set the splitting, to set the uh, splitting, we have to click on this vertex. But before that, you can see I didn't put vertices in midpoints. So I'm just wondering if uh, it won't add too much complexity for this presentation. I think I won't do that. But uh, when we go down to triangle, we won't be able to cut them. <laughs> Okay, I will do that. It's uh, simple, but it uh, it will uh, it will make for a <coughs> a, a bit ugly uh, expression because midpoint I have to do an average between two vertices. Hmm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, and I have to do that. Twice, if I do it like that, 
I could each time you are dragging, destroying, and recreating, but I don't like that at all. Um, I could hide them while you are dragging. Mm. Okay, I will do that. I will create them. Yeah, I will do that. I will use my beloved function plugin renamed with f. It's only a uh, default. <laughs> Too long a name. Um, set vertex vertices. Okay, I will put that here. Destroy the vertex here or here rather. Okay, and call the set vertex vertices function here and. Uh, when you uh, drop when you drop uh, set vertices and when you are dragging I will just uh, yeah set the vertices to Invisible from here to visible. Uh, on drag invisible and drop visible. Well, could be on set vertices too. Okay, rearrange stuff. So, if we read here, we are creating the polygon at the end of the polygon creation we set the vertices so they appear if we are dragging they don't appear anymore and when we are dropping we recreate them so they so we uh, basically so we can use the same function destroy uh, so okay disappear reappear okay and we only need them when we are splitting, so it's not a problem. And I did that. The previous version was working well, but I did that because here I will add the midpoints, and it's uh, it's uh, right, yes, it's a bit more of a, a pain to to write. So I prefer doing that uh, once. If I were to keep my old my former system, I will have to do it here for the creation and and afterward for the m for moving the the objects. So here I will do uh, an average between the current loop index and the next one, and I ha I have to do a modulo because. I will need to place the midpoint between the last vertex and the first. A modulo vertex count. The modulo helps uh, greatly to achieve um, a kind of wrapping around uh, math. If uh, this value here uh, reach polygon vertex count, which means if I have four po four vertices. I have uh, indexes from 0 to 3 and when loop index equals 3 this part will equal 4 and by doing that it would equal 0 it's automatic and if uh, it was uh, 5 it would equal 1 etc uh, the values thanks to the modulo uh, operation wraps uh, kind of wraps around um, Okay, so here I have the f the current and the next vertex, and I just have to divide by two to have the the average. Okay, I did the okay. It was just to check the parentheses because here is the same exact thing, but it's in y coordinates. All right, so now I should have midpoints. All right. <coughs> 